Hi everyone, today we are going to start the basics of trigonometry. So please take a second and read this definition here. Please note a couple of important keywords. We have right triangles. Trigonometry only occurs in right triangles. And we're going to deal with ratios that occur between the corresponding sides all the time. And we are specifically going to learn the sine and the cosine and tangent ratios. So let's get started. First we're going to look at the sine of an angle. If we use the sine of an angle, it always has the ratio opposite over hypotenuse. And we're going to use the acronym SO. The S stands for sine, the O stands for opposite, the H stands for hypotenuse. So what this means is that if we were to look at an angle, so if we take the sine of angle A, that means that the ratio of the corresponding sides is always the opposite leg from that angle and the hypotenuse. So again, looking at angle A, the opposite side, I mean the opposite leg is A and the hypotenuse is C. So we would say that the sine of angle A has the ratio A over C. Let's take a look at another one. If we um, look at the sine of angle B, so here's angle B right here, we would take the opposite leg from that angle, and when we talk about opposite, it just means straight across. Well, the opposite leg is B, and then the hypotenuse is C. So the ratio of the sine of angle B is B over C. Let's take a look at cosine. To help us remember the ratio for cosine, we're going to use the acronym CA. C means cosine, A means adjacent, H means hypotenuse. So if we find the cosine of an angle, we're going to take the adjacent leg from that angle and the hypotenuse. So let's actually plug something in here. So if we were to take the cosine of angle A, so here is angle A, we're going to again use this pattern. We're going to take the adjacent leg, so the adjacent leg would be this one right here. And we're not using the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse is always just the hypotenuse. When we're talking about the opposite and the adjacent, we're specifically only talking about the legs. So the adjacent leg from angle A would be B, and the hypotenuse is C. Let's take a look at another one. The cosine of angle B, so here's angle B right here, and again, we're going to use the ratio adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, the adjacent leg from angle B is A, and the hypotenuse, of course, is C. So the ratio is A over C. Let's take a look at tangent. And again, we're just going to use the letters T-A-N to um, stand for tangent. And we're going to use the acronym TOA. And the T stands for tangent, O stands for opposite, A stands for adjacent. So when we take the tangent of an angle, we are always going to use the pattern that from that angle, we're going to take the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So let's plug something in here. So for the tangent of angle A, here's angle A right here. We're going to take the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So the ratio would be A over B, which is again, from that angle, it's the adjacent, I'm sorry, it's the opposite over the adjacent. Let's take a look at tangent of angle B. So from angle B, we're going to use this pattern, the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So from angle B, the opposite leg is B, and the adjacent leg is A. So the ratio would be B over A. 
let's put in some numbers because that's more like what we're going to be doing in class. Now what's going to happen is when you come to class, I expect you to have your calculators and we're going to take this a whole step further where we're going to use these ratios, plug them into our calculators, and it's going to be solving basically for missing pieces. We're going to be given bits of information about our triangle and we're going to use trigonometry to help us find missing angles and missing sides. So if we were to take the sine of angle A, think of the acronym SO, we're going to do opposite over hypotenuse, O over H. So from angle A, I'm going to go over here and look for the opposite. The opposite is 4. And then, of course, the hypotenuse is 5. So the sine of angle A would have the ratio 4 over 5. The cosine of angle A uh, first of all, let's look at our acronym is CA to help us remember that it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of angle A is adjacent over hypotenuse. So from angle A, the adjacent leg is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5. So to take the cosine of angle A, we would use the ratio 3 over 5. And then tangent Remember, we're using the acronym TOA to help us remember that it's opposite over adjacent. So from angle A, the opposite leg is 4. And the adjacent leg is 3. So TOA, or tangent of angle A, is opposite over adjacent. I just need to put the 3 over here. So if we are we were to take the tangent of angle A, we would use the ratio 4 over 3. So please be prepared in class to have your calculators. When we put this all together, it will make a lot more sense. But if you just know what SOCATOA means and how to set up those initial ratios, we'll be able to get right to work in class. I'll see you soon.